Evans in. Now Manning. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Boom! Then oh, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like up. that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. He's going to let this go deep for Lee. It got his man complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. Marquise Lee, 82 yards. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well-organized, well-coached, and extremely confident in what they do. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Throwing on first down is Manning. Completes it to Lee. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch. It's caught inside the 25. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Marquise Lee. We pick it up second quarter here as the offense gets ready for the drive. Manning now on first down. They're on the catch, Alfred Blue. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. He's going to let this go deep for Lee. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. After the drop and just saw the dejection, they felt it, they thought he had it, unfortunately couldn't come up with it. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They only needed a little bit, and they got a lot. A great job just grabbing the football away from the defender there. And remember, it was third and short, so the defensive front played run. They didn't pressure the quarterback. That meant despite the coverage downfield, they had a chance to complete the play, and they did. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It's just... And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. D.D. Westbrook, his fourth touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Let's go now. Eight, three. Mike, 54. Here we go, D. Here I come. Here I come. Five. On first and ten, here's Manning. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. K-1 short with a sack. That's 315 pounds of man right there. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. And he completes it to Westbrook. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Jaguars out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5.
We'll begin our tour out at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. And it's the Titans with the lead in the second quarter of play. Marcus Mariota, a touchdown pass. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Two touchdown passes there for the former MVP, Matt Ryan. Lastly, let's check in at our nation's capital. See what's happening with the Redskins at home at FedEx Field. Marius Thomas, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. In our game, it's been the play of Eli Manning that's been the story so far. He's over 300 yards passing already. How high can he go? To find out, let's kick it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. On first and 10, Manning looking long for Westbrook. Well, oh, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 55 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. The open man is Westbrook. Touchdown, Jaguars! D.D. Westbrook with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. Ready, ready. 60 out now. Mike, 54. All day, baby. All day. Get it. In his own early incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. A pass there, complete to Westbrook. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. D.D. Westbrook, 98 yards. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. And that's the type of play that will give your sideline some juice a long touchdown pass. And it's like a bolt of lightning, isn't it? That suddenness of that play brings everyone to their feet in the stadium, and he takes it all the way to the end zone. Give him credit for making that type of a play call. Even more credit for how they executed it. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. Throwing on first down. Manning, he's going to float this one deep right side. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Manning, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, it was
was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Looking long for Westbrook, and that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down, but to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. 20, 10, and he will finally be taken out of bounds. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. From back at the four, here's second and goal. They go again with Blue. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Let's go now. 10 2 stop. It's our time. It's our time. Dude. On first down, Manning. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Manning. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is caught. A big third down play there for the Jags. 44 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with... And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. David Montgomery with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Quit talking about it and bring it in. Manning looking to throw it. Looking long for Westbrook. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 54 yards. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Well, right now, maybe they're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. More points for everyone if they win big. He will push his way down to about the 14. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. On second and seven, Manning looking in zone, but it's incomplete. D.D. Westbrook is intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Manning going to throw. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So it's three more points. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory and the defensive guy.